So shout out to KB Goes Live, man. He's made this video called They're Already Sliding for Julio Fulio. And, uh, you know, I saw a lot of people in the chat explaining that, um, you know, they'd already slid. People were trying to do get back for Fulio, all of that stuff. Now, I'll be honest, like I say, I wasn't, I'm not super plugged in. I've had a whole bunch of stuff going on in my life and I've not been able to keep up with this story the way I would have liked to. But this is what they're saying. They're saying they're already sliding for Fulio, man. So let's have a little look at this breakdown and find out. Ah, oh, man, this Julio, Fulio, Young and Ace, Jacksonville situation just keeps getting worse. Now, I'm sure most of y'all tapped in and watched the video I did about Julio, Fulio. If you didn't, you probably seen other videos about it, Lord knows. It's the only thing that's been being talked about on these YouTube streets for the last week. And, well, as I'm sure most people have expected, the retaliation has already begun. And I have to imagine that this is just going to be the start of it. Like, what we about to cover today, I'm pretty sure is just the beginning of something terrible. And honestly, that's not very shocking given the history between both sides, Julio and Young and Ace's side. This is something that's been going on for years at this point, and from the looks of it, we'll probably probably continue to go on for years to come now i don't know if y'all are tapped into the blogs or not but if you are you may have seen reports breaking about jacksonville basically being on fire since the whole situation with julio went down and yesterday news started to break that a member of a set called 1200 out of jacksonville act wait a minute i seen people saying this in the chat hang on they news started they're saying it's little leaky's brother killed on friday so that's only days after Damn. I didn't know that, man. A break that a member of a set called 1200 out of Jacksonville actually got got in connection to or in retaliation for the Julio fully. Now, obviously, there's this set 1200, man. And obviously, that song, When I See You, Fulio opens the song by saying, Slide through the 12, I don't see nobody outside. It seems like someone from the 12 has lost their life over the situation within days, man. It's, it's unfortunate. Yo, situation. Now, Julio Fulio lost his life on the 23rd of June after trying to go out and celebrate his birthday. And he was posting his location, letting everybody know where he was at. Pretty much setting himself up for failure. But since then, Young and Ace has been going stupid with the music, dropping this song after this song. Pretty much letting the world know that he was happy about what had happened. And pretty much saying saying that if anybody had a problem with it, they needed to pop out, they needed to spin for six. And as soon as I heard these songs and the lyrics in these songs, I knew it was only a matter of time before Get Back was getting got. It's facts. These songs were out of control. Five. Now, I, we don't need the, We don't need that because we're going to get copyrighted. I can't run. Let's uh, tell you what, should I pull these up? Obviously, I don't want to get hit with a copyright, okay? But, let's pull up these lyrics, man. You see that, yeah? Now, look, this came out, what, a day? This was like less than 24 hours after Fulio got killed, all right? The track Do It is a direct diss to the late Fulio who was shot and killed outside of a Florida hotel parking lot on June the 23rd, 2020, June the 23rd, 2024, while celebrating his 26th birthday. The song was recorded and released on the same day as Fulio's death and was never previewed prior to its release. But the song was announced by Ace on his Twitter. That same day, Ace would take to, take to his Twitter dissing Fulio in a now-deleted tweet saying, that boy going back the same day he came in. Now, for Ace to say that is wild. Um for reasons that I don't need to explain. But uh, some of these lines, man. Catch his ass and do his ass, you know he finished. Flip his ass and smoke his ass, we stand on business. All my dudes get active, jumping car, we out in traffic. Blitz in like we playing Madden. <laughs> Bruh. I don't even call him by his name. I call my little dudes, little do-its. Bitches call the phone and say they got the low. I told them do it. Now, that kind of supports the theory that Fulio was set up by the girls at the party. Now, if you remember, if we go back, um, if we go back, I don't know if we can, but to, uh, to basically, you know, Fulio, when he was at the party, he was surrounded by chicks. He was talking about giving out locations, talking about, uh, talking about, um, 
you know, Who's like, got let me show you. The pool. Pool party. He's got a bag of drunk women at his party. And Young and Ace talking about bitches call the phone and say they got the lower, told them do it. Bro. Females. This People talking about this guy Mizzle. I'll be looking at the females, to be honest. Ugh, it's tragic. They're saying, let's call his bitch. These bitches up in here. Ugh. Ops be laughing, making these disses. Next thing you know, they was burying a bitch. We be laughing. But this serious. When we in the city, we all up on their mirrors. We on that car. They know Fulio's car. That was the same car they tried to kill him in before, man. It's wild. Wild. Ugh. Dude's gonna go to my park, take a picture and shit. Like, what? You know what he's talking about, right? You know what he's talking about, right? You know what he's talking about, right? I was not holding back on the disrespect. Bro, I ain't even got, I ain't even got to do, you know what? I ain't even got to do it. You know what? Bro. Where is it? He went to that park, man. He went to Melvin Park. And dissed all of, he said six block. F23, F Bibby. No, RIP Bibby, F Ace. All right. Pulled up to the ATK hood of Melvin Park. Defacing the sign, writing things like fuck 23, fuck Ace, and RIP Rod K on it. As well as claiming that Ace's old hood belongs to him now. Nigga, bit the ass shit, nigga, this eye hood right now. Eye hood right now, nigga, we pull up to the art shit, this eye shit now. Nigga, nigga, drop this, nigga, pop y'all bitch ass out. Nigga. Man, we pop that another nigga shit all in the park. Nigga, this eye shit, nigga. No bat, we all through this bitch. Smoking big key, smoking big 23. Smoking meat on Melvin, all that shit. Nigga, nigga, tripping, man. While he was there, fool. They're going to go to my park, take a picture and stuff. Stand on business when you see me. Shots fired. Ugh. He couldn't believe it. Saying he knocks, he's saying he knocks people down like a bowling pin. He hide in the house. We coming in. They know we kill for real. Man. It's just that one line where he says, do it. It's just crazy. Bitch, call his phone. Say they got the low. I told him do it. He's out of control. He's actually out of control with this one, man. He's out of control. You know what's crazy? Talking about Fulio going to the park, right? Check this out. Check this out. How crazy is this? This is why I, this is why I'm particularly hurt by the death of Fulio, man. Because look, and I, I'm a big fan. This isn't for me trying to flex or me trying to be like, yeah, yeah. Like I'm genuinely a fan of Fulio to the point where I actually got, I actually, I bought. This is a Fulio autograph. See that? Look at this. Fulio six. He signed that. This is this is PSA certified. This is a certified. Price of this just went up. That's that's not. I'm not even happy to say that. This is a signed picture of him on the op block. Now, how crazy is that? That this even exists. The fact that this even exists is wild. Okay, dude was selling signed pictures of him on the op block. PSA certified, bro. PSA certified. They're saying I'm found out, but bro, uh, he was on the op block. He was selling signed pictures of him on your op block. Now, look. I ain't condoning what Young and Ace or allegedly any of these guys allegedly were involved in. But, bro, he was in your, he was on your block. And this is what Ace is talking about. He's saying, you come to my park, take a picture. Like, what? Stand on business. Bro. Ace, ah. I ain't condoning it, but, business, like, they did stand on business, to be fair. You've got to give them that. You actually have to give them that. I was genuinely a fan, man. Genuinely a fan. Anyway, um, let's keep going with this video, man. I 
It allows it happened. Now there's a guy named Leaky that Julio Fulio used to always diss in a bunch of his records. He was always name dropping him. And Leaky was a 1200 <laughs> member. Well, yesterday, like I said, news started a break that Leaky's brother, another member of 1200, had actually been gotten. Now this Leaky dude was a close friend of Spinner Benz. Now look, before we go any further, yeah, let's let's just have a quick recap of who the Leaky is. After the attempt on Fulio's life, while the quite literal playground standoff between Queso and Kojak kind of lowered the tone of this beef, in September, the KTA team were back on grown man business and looking to take the life of one of their enemies. And on the 2nd of September, they would catch one lacking with fatal consequences. At around 1.30 a.m., officers preparing to change shift at the nearby Regency Mall police substation heard gunshots in the distance. They traveled to the scene and found a car riddled with bullets my at bad, the intersection of Atlantic Boulevard. After the attack, the lowered on Fulio's life. While the quite literal playground standoff between Queso and Kojak kind of lowered the tone of this beef, in September, the KTA team were back on grown man business and looking to take the life of one of their enemies. And on the 2nd of September, they would catch one lacking with fatal consequences. At around 1.30 a.m., officers preparing to change shift at the nearby Regency Mall police substation heard gunshots in the distance. They traveled to the scene and found a car riddled with bullets at the intersection of Atlantic Bullet Boulevard and Monument Road. The driver of that car was ATK affiliate Lil Leaky, or Lil Leak. He was found in the vehicle suffering life-threatening injuries and would later pass away. Officers actually pursued a second car that they saw fleeing the scene, eventually pulling that. it over around four miles away at the intersection of Beach Boulevard and Cortez Road. Someone in that second car was also suffering a gunshot wound and taken to the hospital with officers believing that another person was injured and fled the scene. He news alert from the Arlington area. Two lanes of Beach Boulevard remain blocked at St. John's Bluff. There's been a double shooting and two crime scenes police found one of the people who was shot near that intersection this investigation spans several miles in fact it started when officers at a substation in regency heard gunshots and then found a person shot right outside basically that substation at Atlantic Boulevard near Monument Road. It's riddled with bullets. We counted five bullet holes in both sides of the vehicle. Officers say they found the driver with gunshot wounds in life-threatening condition. JSO says this person has been taken to the hospital and is not expected to survive. At the same time, officers saw another car speeding away. Police stopped the car on Beach Boulevard and found a second person who had been shot. That person was taken to the hospital and is expected to be okay. Police say the four other people inside the car are now in custody and investigators are questioning them. Following Lil Leaky's pass, Spinner Benz posted a tribute on Instagram, with Whopper with a chopper going on to make a slightly more gangster social media post, saying the ops don't post about their dead homies because they know they're getting smacked. Meanwhile, Fulio leans into disrespecting Lil Leaky, posting a clip of him smoking a pack. Come on, man. You know I keep that leaky, man. I been, boy, this dead ass nigga, boy. Yes, nigga. Meanwhile, Fulio posts himself smoking a pack. That was followed by another post, which interestingly had a background song, the track When I See You by Fantasia, the song that Fulio would later remix to diss the other side, along with a picture of Leaky and a caption saying new pack and asking why the ops are quiet today, followed by another post saying Ace must be sick to his stomach right now. But almost as if he wasn't quite sure if he was getting into hell yet, Fulio doubled down on the disrespect. Yo, that's what I, what I just said was wild, bro. Popping up on IG Live to ask once again, why are the ops so quiet? The ops ain't talking today, man. The ops, these niggas usually be happy on Facebook, joking, Facebook comedians. Niggas ain't said nothing today, man. This shit crazy. Yeah, man, these niggas sad today, man. But you know I'm smoking. You know I'm smoking a little leaky. Got that little leak, that new, that new pipe. Niggas ain't tweeting. Niggas ain't saying nothing. Them niggas humble now. These niggas, I'm talking about these usually be the niggas that's on Facebook. Making 12 statuses a day like this. Boy, they make a whisper today. That man dead, that man sleepwalking right now. This gonna be your reality right here. You see this blunt? Look. This be fire your ass up. You was just this and look. I look for all this, it tastes good too. They already crying and sad right now. These fought niggas for the beef. 
at the funeral. Alexa, play Ride Wave Pain. Hell, it would turn out that Fulio was so happy over this drilling, he went on a goddamn field trip to a weed dispensary to get custom leaky packs printed. Get out the plugs. Man, nigga, we got any flavor, nigga. Any dead art. Nigga, stop fucking playing on my top, man. Put this nigga ass on the screen. Leaky packs. Hey, exclusive leaky packs on the way, man. Real guy, this ain't that fake ass. That niggas coming here by turtlenecks. If you claim you a weed smoker, this go for anybody. I'm gonna need y'all to get these leaky This was one of the most disrespectful things I've ever seen. And, and a lot of people did this since, but I gotta say, this is one of the first times I've seen someone actually do the pack with somebody, actually, like a picture from their Facebook, somebody that got killed on the pack in a graveyard. Now look, I ain't saying fool. I ain't saying Fulio deserved it, but I understand. I, I I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Okay. Fuck niggas, real zar man. You know what I'm saying? Real dead nigga, back from the dead. Is that came back to life, man? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. He didn't just do. Hey, bruh. He didn't just say what I think he said, did he? Real zar man, you know what I'm saying? Real dead nigga, back from the dead. Is that came back to life, man? This real zar. This ain't no fake ass zar. Did he just say back from the dead came back alive? Did he, uh, bruh? No, no, no way, no way did Fulio three years ago just say that he came back? Someone came back from the dead, bro. This actually, I can't. This is crazy. I need the dead nigga back from the dead. Fuck niggas, real zar man. You know what I'm saying? Real dead nigga back from the dead. Is that came back to life, man? This real. Bro, I need, bro. You telling me he just said that? He just said that? This is crazy. Bruh. 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 Ah. Bruh, I ain't even got energy for this anymore. This is crazy. This ain't no fake ass I need the fuck you talking about. That little fake shit you niggas had in the past and shit. This a real exclusive dead nigga who woke his ass. Ah, man. 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 Okay, so look. That's the little leaky update, all right? That's... That's... That guy who died... Who Hufulio was talking about back from the dead, we done made a pack, he's real czar. His big brother just got killed as get back for Fulio's murder. Now, this shit's deeper than you can possibly imagine, right? I see a lot of people. I see a lot of people talking about, oh, we already broke this down, we already worked. Bro, you don't. I'm connecting dots right now, okay? Whopper with a chopper. Bunch of people over there on Young and Ace's side. And on the internet, people are basically saying that this leaky guy was like spinning the bins, Whopper with a chopper, and them shooter, right? He was the one they called when they needed some work put in. Now, Lil Leaky or 1200 Leaky actually passed away about two years ago, back in 2022, after he was supposedly sipping some fake lean. Somebody pulled up on him, hit him with a a headshot resulting in him crashing a car and obviously passing away and julio was one of those people that didn't spare a minute to let his family you know mourn what had happened he immediately jumped online and started dissing this dude come shop and get some of these leaky pads man this that exclusive that's gonna put you in the sky you're gonna feel like you died with it no cap look at this i ain't even seen that i ain't seen that angle before you know what i'm saying uh, leaky. Yeah, I'm to put the bottle of lean on this bitch. <laughs> Come on, man. You know I keep that leaky, man. I've been, boy, this dead ass. What? Apparently, Julio was dissing this dude, Leaky, because Leaky had allegedly swung through and taken some people out from over on Julio's side. So he was just, you know, doing what they was doing to him. Not that that makes it right, but I mean, this Leaky dude was getting what he was given. And well, last night, news started to break that his big brother is the latest victim of this ongoing conflict in Jacksonville. Now, I should make it clear that 1200 and ATK are two separate sets, right? So they're... so they're saying that this is the guy. So let's take a closer look at this article, man.
June 29th, right? So this is the article. A man was shot and killed in the parking lot of an apartment complex in Orange Park Friday night, according to the Clay County Sheriff's Office. Deputies said the shooting happened at around 11.10 p.m. at the Laurel Grove Apartments on the Wells Road. Now, I've definitely heard that name before. Uh, the victim, identified as 29-year-old Darius Beals, was in the parking lot of the apartment complex when he was shot multiple times by an unknown suspect. Beals died at the scene, according to CCSO. Investigators say they believe Beals was the intended target of the attack. No arrests have been made. Darius Beals, so they're saying that's Leaky's brother, yeah? So they're saying this guy went by the name Fizzle. Uh, shout out to Remo, man. Remo coming with a with a quality reporting all the time, man. Young Anise, they're calling him Young Anise affiliate, Darius Fizzle Beals, and apparently this was Leaky's big brother. Um, so I see there's a Crime Stoppers line that's been set up. Uh, so let's check this out. Prayers go out to Darius, kids and family. Bro showed me love whenever I came round, and I ain't even from round there. Real genuine guy, the type of dude that we need out here. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't know what would make y'all want to take a dude like him. Prayers to the whole PYC and Ynet fam. I know this one gone hurt forever. And to all my active fathers in the city, stay militant. we got to make it back to them babies. Sad, man. It's a sad situation. Um, so, what's interesting about this is... Uh, obviously, this has happened very soon um, after the murder of Fulio. People are saying it's connected. Now, we don't know that for sure yet, but like... You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, tell you what I want to check out. Uh... Let's go for anybody. Wait. Uh, I need that article. So this is the thing. There's always more. There's always more. So um, at the Laurel Grove Apartments. Hmm. Okay. Is the latest victim of this ongoing conflict in Jacksonville. Now, I should make it clear that 1200 and ATK are two separate sets, right? So they're two separate cliques. They're not really together. However, they do share some of the same enemies like Julio. But 1200 had its own problems with Julio's team. For example, back in April of 2020, 1200 and Lil Leaky tried to get at Julio by spraying him up. However, it ended up not being Julio that Leahy was spraying because his at the time girlfriend Cuban doll and one of her friends had hopped in one of Julio's cars and drove down to the gas station and I guess these guys seen a car thought it was Julio and sprayed it up but it was his girlfriend not him she ended up getting grazed in the head and one of her fingers shot off and while this was 1200s doing people from KTA were quick to get on a record and basically stand beside 1200 in this situation dropping lyrics like this one right here. Mama got shot and he's still tweaking. This bitch got shot. Cool, I know she leaving. It's shot that. Uh, I don't, I don't, I remember this dropping. This song's a banger, but it's full of disrespect. But um, tell you what, before it might be interesting, yeah, let's just jump back and let's just have a recap of 1200. So, with a lot of success in the rap to grow Kobe, aka Brace, a few homies, he's new group especially soon with the oh, air. He's through third bank to 12 hugger, boss goon, ATKYBZ, and also affiliated with ATK are the crew 1200, hailing out of 1200 block on the east side, a crew which back in the day has been referred to as 187 or out west. Now this crew is affiliated with an area running from the TIAA bank field to Evergreen Cemetery and up to just before 21st Street. Some members of this group have been known to represent under the S4C, meaning Spaz for Corbin, a reference to a fallen friend of theirs. And you might also see Jump Out or Cuckoo Gang affiliated with members of this group too. And hailing from this area are several familiar faces such as Spinner Benz and his blood brother Whopper Wit the Chopper aka Ducci, as well as AT Michi, Bevel 5 or B5, Lil Popper, Greenlight, Lil Leaky and Shook. So that's the ATK crew. 
Now these are all names. These are all names. Five, Lil Popper, Greenlight, Lil Leaky, and Shook. These are all names that Fulio's dissing constantly, right? You you probably know. I can see you in the chat talking about where's Corbin, all right? Uh, several of these guys have been getting dissed, all right? They're saying the six got a lot of bodies on 1200. Well, look, hey, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is why... I just want to make this clear, yeah? The whole ATK, Aces crew, 1200 being a separate thing. This is why... A lot of people are saying Ace is false claiming the, the murder of Fulio. And, uh, you know, 1,200 are responsible, but Ace is claiming responsibility. But he might not really have had anything to do with it, man. You know what I'm saying? This is just like a list of lyrics. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but Fulio's damn near dissed everyone here. I, there's probably not a name that Fulio hasn't dissed, right? So, like, you know these names. If, you, if you're a fan of Fulio, even if you don't know the full gang war, you don't know the full breakdown... I'm seeing a lot of Where's Corbin in the chats right now. It's very disrespectful, but you you know you know the story. You you clearly know the story. You lot, you demons, you. He never hopped on a track and spoke about the situation, and neither did anybody from 1200, but people from ATK, people like Spinner Benz, did. Now, I said all of that to say there was a clear connection between ATK and 1200, and with what just happened to Julio and pretty much Young and Ace trying to take credit for that, the news of Leaky's brother being hit has people thinking that this is retaliation for what happened to Julio. That, that would make sense, right? Because the beef between the, the six block... Fulio's crew, and uh, 1,200. It's very personal. It's very specific. Yeah, Fulio been dissing 23 and Ace's friends and all of that stuff. Fulio ain't, ain't responsible for that murder, right? He's just claiming it. Same way Ace probably ain't really responsible for the murder of Fulio, but he's claiming it. Especially since, because as soon as the news broke that Leaky's brother Darius has passed away, people from Julio's camp went online and started immediately clowning him and making fun of the situation. So the news article that reported Lil Leaky's brother passing away says, Clay County, Florida. It says three kids are left without a father after Darius Bell was inked on Friday night. Now, I'm sorry I'm having to bleep the words like that. YouTube took my trusted status away, so I can't be putting nothing in here that might be misconstrued by them as too bad. Sorry about that, y'all. But it says the Clay County Sheriff's Office said it happened around 11 p.m. at the Laurel Grove Apartments in Orange Park. And Orange Park is about a 25-minute drive away from the city of Jacksonville. It's like just right on the outskirts. It says Bell was outside in a parking lot when somebody shot him multiple times, according to deputies. He later passed at the hospital. Investigators believe the 29-year-old was targeted and it was an isolated incident. Bell's family has been vocal on social media calling him a devoted father to his three children. His neighbor said that it sounded like his kids may have been playing at the time of the incident. He said we heard maybe four like five pow sounds and I figured with the holidays coming up it must just be fireworks because the kids were still screaming and playing. Like they didn't sound like they were yelling for help. They were just playing. As of right now there is no suspect for this case and the police are asking if anybody has information to contact them so this is Lil Leaky's big brother and obviously people have started to question why would anybody from Julio's camp want to be getting at Leaky's brother because Leaky passed away so Leaky obviously didn't have nothing to do with Julio because Leaky ain't here no more but like I said 1200 ATK they've been clicked up for a long time they different sets but they friends and you know what they say man bullets ain't got no name if you're in the streets and you're responsible for something and the people who want to get get back can't get to you you know they're gonna go for whoever they can't get this close to you and pretty much as soon as it happened we had people from atk and atk affiliates going online and posting about this like right here we had la cracker he got on instagram he said leaky brother s and kill in jacksonville days after fulio's death and he posted it with the song that fulio made called get back and he wasn't the only one there was numerous other posts made by people affiliated with these guys and it's just a sad situation all together because here we go with the cycle again and you know like i said i'm pretty sure that this isn't gonna be the only time we hear about these type of things happening we'll probably see this numerous times in the media now i noticed that police said that they wasn't gonna be talking
tolerate no retaliation and stuff. But the truth is, man, it's hard to foreshadow who's going to, you know, be delivered what hand at what time. And for the police, they got an uphill battle with this one if they anticipate not letting retaliation happen. Because as we can clearly see, people are actively out here attempting to do that exact thing. But that's pretty much all of the details that I know about it. And that's the story and where we're at so far. Anyways, that's it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, tap the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. All right, shout out to KB goes live for that, man. That's good stuff. Uh, I, need to, I didn't, I thought I was already subscribed. Um, so look, this is a Reddit post. All right, RIP to Fizzle, man. Four days ago, people saying his baby doesn't have a mama nor a daddy now. RIP. It's messed up, man. People saying it's surprising seeing how fast they can catch one if they really want to. I don't think they're going to stop looking either. They're saying uh, 1,200 spaz for Corbin, cuckoo, wild gang. Oh, sorry, wild child. Easier to catch as most of them are still in the city. No hospital gang and aces top killers are hard to find because they lay low and stay out of the state. People saying no hospital gang members are mostly no faces. Well, at least the young'uns and they know how to move. Don't know about that for queso, but I'm not saying. Um... Man, some crazy stuff in the comments. Um, um, all right, so ironically, it's six days after Fulio got killed and six block got someone, and they say it's six hours since it's posted here. Come on, man, that's coincidence. That's crazy. Um, I said six block got back, but they lost their breadwinner. Ain't no winners. They're saying Fulio is not the only dude from the 45th with money. And you act like people can't come up. Michi was 1,200 breadwinner, but they got dudes from 1,200 who are getting money. I mean, bro, them killing Leaky Brother ain't really get back because he wasn't in the streets and he didn't have nothing to do with Fulio's death. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Um, look. I see people talking about the Fulio shooting video has come out. Um, obviously, I can't show that here yet. And I'm waiting for the full thing to come out. But uh, we're going to have to break that down another day, man. We're going to have to get, get into that one into some detail. But listen. <sighs> That's what they're saying. Get back for Fulio, man. That's what they're saying. The get back's already happened. And, and honestly, like I'm, I hadn't seen that until we got on this stream and broke it down. But it's looking that way. It's looking that way. And it's messed up, man. I just want to make something very clear. Um, you know, the reason why I was so upset about what happened to Fulio and to find out this news, um, because truly, man, I don't, I, I really don't, um, I really don't condone the violence, man. I really don't want to push the violence. I don't want more violence. It, it makes me sad. So, and I, I really wanted to, just while we were here, man, while I had you guys all on stream, I wanted to just, uh, I wanted to just quickly recap, man, what I said at the end of my Jacksonville documentary. Because a lot of people saying, yeah, where's the Fulio update? We need the Jacksonville update. And look, maybe I'm working on it. Maybe I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Top secret. But I think if you look at the sentiment that I put at the end of this video, a lot of people say I'm profiting from the violence. Some people, morons, think that I'm responsible for the violence. You know, people. some people are that dumb where they're actually going to act like Traplor Ross is the guy who got Fulio shot. But I think if we just return to the sentiment that I had at the end of this video, and I think this is just going to make me a bit sad, to be honest with you, um... But I, I want to return to it, man, because I, I just think it's important to, to add some context and go back to these these moments and look at what happened. <laughs> Today, police said DeAndre Thomas was the shooter. They charged him with murder. Two guilty verdicts were read, one for Henry Hayes and one for Kwame Richardson, who were tried separately. Finally, her family has the answers they've been looking for. Police arresting 21-year-old Roland Ball Jr. for murder. 21-year-old Hakeem Robinson. In the can't lie. Two weeks. Smoke is a Six people have been arrested linked to at least one of the killings. I can't lie. Who I smoke is a catchy ass song. So is when I see you. And look, if you've watched one of my videos on gang beefs before, you know I have a habit of ending these things by saying, oh, I just hope these guys can focus on music, stop beefing and leave the violence in the streets. But realistically, when you look at this story, so much has gone down on both sides. Brothers killed, mothers and fathers shot in their own homes, children as young as two years old being shot and killed in the crossfire. It would be naive to think for even a oh, second that there is going to be some kind of brothers and things when I said linked to at least one of the killings. I can't lie. 
Who I Smoke is a catchy ass song. So is When I See You. And look, if you've watched one of my videos on gang beefs before, you know I have a habit of ending these things by saying, oh, I just hope these guys can focus on music, stop beefing, and leave the violence in the streets. But realistically, when you look at this story, so much has gone down on both sides. Brothers killed, mothers and fathers shot in their own homes, children as young as two years old being shot and killed in the crossfire. It would be naive to think for even a second that there is gonna be some kind of positive outcome or resolution to this feud. There's nothing I could ever say to Ace or Fulio or anyone else involved that would make them see things differently. And as moving as his music is, Young and Ace could never make a song that will make me truly understand the pain of losing your three brothers in front of your very eyes. And I know some people will watch this video and accuse me of leeching off of a bad situation and a tragedy by making content out of it. But the reality is, there's very little any of our words can do to calm the tensions of these two groups of warring men. Too much blood has been shed on both sides to think that there would ever be any kind of amicable resolution. The next best thing I think that we can do is just take a step back and take a mature look at this situation to try and understand why everyone involved in this story was driven to act so viciously so that the next generation of young men coming up in a place like Jacksonville or any city that's dangerous and disadvantaged can know the real consequences of being involved in this life. Perhaps there's some young people out there who really don't have the guidance in their life to tell them that recording a song or a social media clip saying that you're smoking a dead person or that you're going to smoke somebody could lead to your life being cut short early. Because despite being a catchy viral hit, the song Who I Smoke is really just just about tragedy after tragedy. And all the peoples whose names that they're singing they smoked are real people with real families who miss them. This beef is particularly heartless. In fact, something I was taken aback by whilst I was researching this story was just how many of the people involved make reference to video games. I've heard numerous people joking in this beef that the ops lost a Fortnite battle, that they're getting kills like it's Warzone, or that somebody got wasted like it's GTA. That might sound like a funny diss in the moment, but some of these kids are really treating their lives like a video game. And I'm not trying to be funny, when I say that when they get killed, they don't respawn. When they get arrested, they don't walk out of the police station $500 lighter and with none of the weapons they came in with. The mothers and fathers of the men who died in this deadly gang war are still grieving every day. Whether it's Queso putting a picture of him smoking the dead ops on his album cover, or the ATK boys dressing up in golf clothes and singing the names of who they smoke over a funny beat, this shit has got to stop. So I hope you found this video and this story interesting, but more importantly, I hope it's given you a better understanding of the reality behind some of the words in these songs. And in future, maybe think twice before you say you're smoking on Bibby or Tuca or Duck and spare a thought for the brothers, sisters, the mothers, or even the children of the people you're saying that you're smoking in these songs. Because I know for a fact, you won't want somebody saying that they're smoking you or one of your loved ones. Thanks so much for listening. I really appreciate your time. And until next time, peace out. Honestly, man, it's sad. You know, Fulio, as disrespectful as he was he was a great artist with a lot of talent man you know when i see you is a very disrespectful song but he's hitting them high notes man he could sing if he'd have applied himself to, to a more positive situation man more positive art maybe we would be in a completely different situation today but then again you know the gang war is just it's just too deep you know like i say at the end of that man it's naive to think that we're gonna see a resolution to this that we're gonna we're going to just see a relaxation of this thing. And the same goes for Young and Ace, man. I'm a big fan of Young and Ace and his music. But really, his days are probably numbered, man. And it, it hurts me to say it. But way too much has happened, man. You know, it only takes one day, one big mistake, one wrong move for you to be gone, man. And uh, unfortunately, that's what happened to Fulio. So uh, rest in peace, Fulio, man. Uh, very disrespectful but very talented and uh, honestly just a sad and cautionary tale, man. You know, I, I remember, uh, I believe it was Remo uh, from No Jumper, man. Shout out to Remo. He really was, he was really, uh, he was really warning, warning him, man. He was warning him. He said that he needs to get out of the city. Um, and I just wish, I wish that he'd have taken that, man. I wish that he'd have taken that advice. No jumper. Cool. I'll find that clip. It's just tragic, man. I, I Honestly, I would have loved to have seen Fulio just, just somehow get out of the beef, man, and turn his life around and do something, do something positive. Um, but, He's gone, man. So R.I.P. Fulio, man. R.I.P. Big Six. You know, one of Jacksonville's most controversial 
talented, successful, influential rappers, man. Honestly, this guy, this guy's influence was just, was unreal. Um, this is the clip I'm talking about right here. Just stay out of Jacksonville for a little bit, man. For real, just. I know you, you a grown ass man. You're going to do what you do, but as a nigga, I'll fuck with you. So I just want to, you know what I'm saying? I want, we need to do this again next year. Yeah, that's love, bro. I'm going to be here for sure. I ain't going to know it. I'm a demigod, man. You can't get me. Where did you get the demigod thing from? Kratos. Um, bro, I play a lot of games and watch oh, okay. a lot of movies. Stranger Things, they be saying that yeah, shit too. Kratos, man. I'm a demigod. They can't get me. That's <laughs> But nah, Fulio, just, just some shit out, man. Stay out of Jacksonville. It's sad, man. And, uh, you know, I know someone's running around on Instagram pretending to be Fulio, saying he's still alive. Bruh, well, he's gone, man. Rest in peace to Fulio, man. One of the most controversial. <sighs> it touched me, man. Actually, it hurt me to see that news, honestly. I was, I was upset and I was disappointed. And, uh, you know, this was somebody who I spent a lot of time looking into, a lot of time listening to, a lot of time supporting. And look, hella rappers that I've covered have died, man. When Von died, that 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 affected me differently, man. But it's just super sad. So thanks for joining in the stream. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more research into the situation. I'm going to come back with some more information. Maybe there'll be a, a full-blown update documentary on Jacksonville. Um, I didn't want, honestly, I didn't want to do it, man. People have been asking for the Jacksonville update for months before Fulio passed. Um, it's not a video I wanted to make, man, but, um, you know, if we can get to the bottom of this, if we can get some understanding, if we can get something substantial out of this, maybe we'll do it, man. But appreciate everybody that tapped into the stream. Shout out the Trapmore gang. Make sure you tap into Trap Law Clips. I will catch you guys in the next one. Appreciate you. I'm out. Peace.